In the second of our programs on SPAD risks, we'll take a critical look at four more common risk situations. Our first risk situation results from distraction. This tamping machine is being driven by a trainee. Sitting alongside him is a driver instructor whose job it is to supervise the trainee's performance and give specific instructions where necessary. However, the instructor has just started to explain a technical matter concerning the machine's braking system. This is not really an appropriate time to be doing this, particularly as they are approaching a single yellow aspect. The trainee driver is trying to concentrate on the road ahead, but is clearly distracted by the instructor. Shortly after passing the yellow signal, the instructor's lengthy technical explanation is interrupted by a mobile phone ringing. It's his. As the DI answers his call, the trainee sees the danger signal immediately ahead. He makes an emergency brake application, but it's too late. Now, the primary cause of this spad was distraction, caused by the driver instructor's inappropriate technical explanation. Your company's instructions on cab etiquette make it quite clear that any person riding with a driver should not discuss any issues when running under cautionary signals or approaching a danger signal. Of course, the DI would have every right to give the trainee verbal instructions on handling the train in these circumstances, but he shouldn't have been discussing technical issues. A secondary distraction was caused by the mobile phone. If you're riding with any driver, and particularly if you're acting as an instructor, your mobile phone should be switched off. Other minor distractions, which may seem almost irrelevant, can easily be a spad risk. Distractions like simply taking a sandwich from your bag. The third factor in this unfortunate incident was one of familiarity. The DI was familiar with both the route and the trainee, and as a result, took his eye off the ball. The trainee was familiar with the DI and trusted him to give proper instructions on the danger signal ahead. They were both wrong. This driver is approaching a large terminus station, London Cannon Street. Because of the multiple tracks, there are a number of signals on the gantry ahead. To add to the potential confusion, the approach is on a sharp right-hand curve. The driver has the train nicely under control when a signal on the gantry ahead clears to a single yellow with route indication 5. Taking this to be his signal, the driver takes power. At a speed of about 15 miles per hour, a train suddenly overtakes him on the near side track. But wait a minute, only one signal was off. And now he realises it wasn't his. An emergency brake application brings his train to a stop in the signal overlap and a potential collision is avoided, but it could have had disastrous results. The cause of this bad is what's known as a misread. The driver took a signal cleared for another line to be his own. And to eliminate this kind of spad risk requires a certain cautiousness on the part of the driver. At complex multi-track locations like the approaches to big terminus stations, be aware of the danger of taking a signal to be yours when in fact it isn't. If you're not absolutely sure, draw slowly up to the signal being fully prepared to stop. As you get closer, it will become obvious which signal is actually yours. The basic defence here is not to make assumptions. Be absolutely sure. Drivers understand that they have a duty to run their trains to time where possible. However, some of us, especially in dense traffic areas, get into the habit of chasing aspects. Now, this might help to keep the timings tight, but it's a practice that's fraught with risk. This driver is running at line speed under cautionary signals. He figures that the train up ahead is also running at line speed and will keep doing so. The signals will be clearing ahead, so he'll keep going. He's chasing the aspects. But what happens when that train up ahead slows for that temporary speed restriction that our driver has forgotten about? The signal ahead hasn't dropped off now, and we're travelling too fast to stop at it. 
If you chase aspects, one day this will happen to you. Either the train up ahead will unexpectedly slow down, or the signaller will hold a signal at danger for a conflicting movement. Either way, you'll find yourself running too fast to stop in the distance left to you. Chasing aspects, or anticipating that a danger signal ahead will clear in time, is an example of bad train handling technique. It's foolhardy and will lead you into trouble. Take a look at your company's defensive driving instructions and follow the advice. The ongoing program of renewing and modernising the railway means that drivers have to cope with frequent changes in infrastructure and signalling, and such changes always present risks due to unfamiliarity. To ensure that you're aware of alterations to the infrastructure, full details are published in the weekly and periodic operating notices, while major alterations to track layout and signalling are also covered in the published schematics with the familiar yellow covers. In addition to the published notices, you may be briefed on all significant changes or alterations to the signalling and infrastructure by your driver standards manager. These briefings might take the form of a simple chat about the changes, or they might include full audio-visual presentations. Sometimes, in the case of major re-signalling schemes, a video programme or a computer-generated presentation might be made available, which shows in graphic form the new signalling and track layouts. The really important thing is your responsibility to familiarise yourself with these changes using whatever information is provided so that there is no risk of error due to unfamiliarity. As in our earlier programme, we've tried to highlight some common SPAD risks. Once we're aware of these risks and the sometimes deceptive traps that lead us into them, we can avoid them by simply changing the way we do our job. Driving trains. Driving trains safely. If you have any comments on this programme or ideas for the future, please speak to your DSM. If we all share our ideas and experiences, together we can try to eliminate bad risks. Mm -hmm.